Hey guys, welcome back. Now we are working on number five of the MA readiness test. So this question says, in the figure shown to the right, if AB is parallel to DE, then X equals what? So the key piece of information here is that they tell us that AB is parallel to DE. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend some of these lines. So just pretend that that goes directly along AB and pretend that this goes directly along DE. So we know that these are parallel, and if you notice, we also have a transversal here. We actually have two transversals, but we're just gonna focus on this one. So automatically, just from looking at the figure, I know that 50 is going to be congruent, or that angle is going to be congruent to this angle, because these two are vertical angles. So whenever angles are across from each other like that, that means they're vertical angles and they're congruent. So now the other thing I know, and this goes more along the lines with the fact that this is parallel to this, is that if you notice here, this angle and this angle are actually going to be congruent as well by the alternate interior angle theorem. So they're called alternate. Alternate has to do with what side of the transversal they're on. So if they're on opposite sides of the transversal, they're called alternate. If they're on the same side, they're called same side. And interior refers to their positioning with the parallel lines. So because these are inside the parallel lines in this area, they're called alternate interior angles. If they're outside of the parallel lines, so here and here, they would be called exterior. So I don't wanna go through that too much, um, but that's kind of the basic overview. If you've forgotten um, just the different angles, I would probably just look up angle relationships with parallel lines, something like that. So now the other thing we know about this triangle is that all of the angles together have to equal 180. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these up and 50 plus 75 gives us 125 and we're gonna subtract that from 180. Oops. So now when we subtract that, we get 55 degrees. So that tells us that X is going to be equal to 55 degrees. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.